Hey everybody, welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be going over the 4K release of Bumblebee, the most recent of movie in the Transformers franchise, although this is a prequel. Now this actually comes out next week, and I managed to get my hands on an early copy of this, so I was, went ahead and watched it. Now I did see this in theaters, uh, because I do like the Transformer films, and I did like it when I saw it in theaters. And I thought it would look really good on 4K when it did hit the format. And I was pretty impressed with it. I will say I don't feel like it's reference quality in the sense that like Aquaman was. But it is still pretty good. You know, there the scenes are pretty crisp. Uh, the colors pop. Now, it isn't as colorful as some of the other ones, I didn't think. But it is going for a different look. This movie is kind of trying to invoke the feeling of maybe something like E.T. or Because it is a period piece. So it's trying to be a little different than some of the other movies in the franchise. And I think some people weren't crazy about that. But I did like it. I thought it was kind of a new take on stuff. And I liked the characters in it. I really liked Haley Steinfeld in it. I thought she did a really good job. Uh, like I said, overall the picture quality is pretty good. It's crisp. For the most part, there were a few soft looking scenes I noticed, but nothing that I think would really distract you that much. The HDR usage is okay. I think it could have been better, but it's, you know, the, some of the colors do pop. Uh, some of the explosion scenes are pretty good looking. Like I said, overall, it's, it's definitely not reference quality, but it is decent. Is it a day one pickup? If you're a fan of the Transformers franchise, then yes, definitely. If not, I think you could probably wait for a better deal on this. I'm sure it will be on sale pretty quick. Uh, most of the Transformers films usually are. Uh, you do have a couple options to pick from. There's the standard cover, which is the one that I had. And there's also the Best Buy Steelbook, which I think looks really nice. It's kind of minimalistic, and I do like the look of it. I would probably go with this one if it was my choice on which one I got. Um, but overall, the standard cover is pretty good. It's just pretty much the movie poster. But I did, I do like it. So anyways, I would recommend this one as a, you know, definitely to give it a watch. You may not necessarily have to run out and buy it the first day. Um, but if you can rent it or, you know, if someone else gets a copy, it's worth checking out. I do like the film. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a good addition to the franchise and something different. And it does look pretty good overall. So anyways, guys, leave a like in the comments there. Uh, let me kind of know what you thought about it if you're planning on picking this one up. And be sure to check it out. It comes out next Tuesday, which is April 2nd. So be sure and kind of give that one a look. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Have a good one. 